Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carlos and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing first impressions of one of my most anticipated releases of this year. It is the flanker to one of my favorite releases of 2016, Lone Prada. The new one is called Lone Prada Intense. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Those of you who follow my channel know that I was a really big fan of Lone Prada. I really, really loved it a lot. When I heard the Intense version was coming out, I looked for it, couldn't find it anywhere, couldn't find any information. I finally decided to call the boutique on Fifth Avenue and they told me that they were getting it in, in June. They took my number and today I got the call and I ran over during my lunch break. I didn't even eat lunch. I ate a quick Lunchables, you know, those kid meal things and uh, went over to Fifth Avenue and picked it up and here we are doing an unboxing. So let's see what we got here. Here it is. The box for this one was all black. This one is black with silver. I'll show it closer after I take the cellophane off. I did smell it when I went to the boutique. I've been wearing it all day. So it's not really a first impressions, but you know. So this is the box. Lone Prada, Lone Prada, intense on the bottom, silver trim. Unlike the original, which is all black, like I said before. <clears throat> Here is the bottle. It's all black. And I'm trying to see if you can see the juice because I posted a picture on Facebook before and Michael Cure asked me, is it going to be one of those annoying bottles where you can't see the juice? And I think that might be the case. Can I hold it to the light? Let's see. Um, I don't know. It seems pretty that you can't see it. Here are the two together. This is the original and this is the intense version. The original loam has notes of iris, amber, neroli, geranium, and patchouli. I went to the Prada website to see if I could find the official notes for the intense version, but it wasn't even up on their website for some reason. So I went to Fragrantica, and according to them, this is an enriched and intensified version of the original. The notes of amber and iris from the original are enhanced by leather, patchouli, and tanka in the intense version. Both were created by Prada's in-house perfumer, Daniela Roche Andrea. When I got to the Prada boutique today, I sprayed my hand with like three hefty sprays and immediately liked it, so I wasn't sorry that I bought the bottle. I went back to work. That was at around 2.30. It lasted on my skin pretty pronounced until 6.30. I got home around 8.30 and I was getting like my last traces of it on my hand. It smelled similar to the original to me, but it went darker. It didn't stay quite as bright as the original. I think perhaps there's not as much neroli or if at all neroli in this because this has a more bright and cleaner feeling than this. This feels dressed up. It feels luxurious. There's something velvety about it. It's really, really good. I'm so happy that I was not disappointed in this release. It's really good. I asked a couple of people at work. Actually, I asked about maybe seven people. I couldn't film the girls at work because it was too busy at work, but every single one had something positive to say from Carlos, I can bite your hand. Carlos, that is downright sexy. The one guy that I asked, he said, that smells like you should be wearing a tux. So he felt that it was more of a dressed up scent, which I kind of agree. This feels like an older brother to this one or daytime, nighttime type of thing. So good. I want to see if on paper they're similar or different or so let me spray a little bit on here. Just the original loan. Loom. Let's 
let's see, let's see. They have a similar opening, but on skin, they definitely go in a different direction. If you like Prada's Amber Pro Ohm Intense, you'll dig this one. That's the kind of vibe that I get from the Intense on my skin anyway. Speaking of on skin, I don't really get leather. I don't get heavy patchouli. It just smells really, really well blended. So the notes aren't very discernible to my nose, but it smells really good. I really, really enjoyed it. It feels dressed up like the guy at work said. Actually, Stephen and I are invited to the Fragrance Foundation Awards next week. And Stephen, I'm going to be rocking this one when I see you there, buddy. Yes, the award show is a black tie event and we have to wear tuxedos. So my new Lone Prada Intense is going to go great with a sharp tux. This wasn't a blind buy because I did smell it in the store before I took it home. But had I blind bought this, I would not be disappointed. I love it. Two thumbs up. Great release. Well, that's all I have for you today on Lone Prada Intense. Short and sweet like I always do. As always, I will share a 10 ml decant with one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, like and share this video, then leave one comment down below with what your favorite product fragrance is or what you enjoyed most about this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're all well, and I will see you at the next review. Take care.